In this video I'm going to show you how to connect any servo to a Futaba receiver using the SBUS protocol. If you are a Futaba user but you want or need, like in my case, to connect to one of your non-Futaba servos through SBUS, you can do it with the SBD3 decoder. This adapter serves as the bridge between PWM and SBUS. PWM and SBUS are two signal types used in radio control systems to transmit the information sent by the transmitter to the servos connected to the receiver. In other words, two different languages. PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation and operates by controlling the duration of the pulses sent to the servos during each cycle. Each cycle is super fast, in the order of milliseconds, and depending on the length of these pulses, the servos will move accordingly. The main drawback is the need for a dedicated wire per channel corresponding to every servo. But PWM is still widely used in radio control due to its compatibility between different brands and particularly in applications that prioritize simplicity. SBUS or Serial Bus is a digital communication protocol designed for efficient control of multiple channels in radio control systems. SBUS operates by transmitting a continuous stream of digital data over a single wire. This data is encoded with a unique identifier or address, which contains the information for each channel. When the receiver receives the SBUS signal, it decodes the information based on these codes or passwords, directing each set of data to the appropriate servo or channel. So SBUS allows using a single wire and typically offers higher resolution due to its digital nature. It's important to note that not all servos and receivers might support this protocol. Most of the actual receivers from Futaba offer both options, and depending on your model and requirements, you might want to use SBUS protocol. And that's when the SBD3 can be a great ally. The SBD3 is very easy to set up, and the only thing you need to do is assign which channel output you want. By default, it comes set up with the channel number 3. So, if you connect it to your receiver, whatever you connect to the SBD3 will be commanded through the channel 3. To change that, unless you have one of the specific Futaba transmitters that can do it by their own, you will need to configure the SBD3 using a PC with the SBD Link software, requiring the adapter CIU2 or 3. The software is easy to use and provides an intuitive solution to adjust the channel you want. If you are familiar already with SBUS system, it will be very easy. You first need to read what is pre-assigned. Then, you have to choose which channel output you want. In my case, it was the TIC analyzer, the channel number 8. And then you have to program it by writing it into the SBD3. The SBD1 from Futaba works exactly the same way, but with three output channels. I will leave the link to the software in the description of this video. So as you can see, this little thing offers a simple way to connect any servo through the Futaba SBUS protocol, which in some cases can be very convenient. If you remember, I was already using the temperature sensor from Futaba, but I just installed some new sensors into my F3As and I needed to connect at least one servo through SBUS. And this thing has saved me. Well, I hope it was useful and see you in the next one.